Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit about how to fly Roshka. Now, I do not have Roshka, unfortunately. I would love to have him, and if I'm able to, I might try to get as much as possible at the end of the season with any extra sigils I might have. I may even invest a little bit extra in order to get him, because I think Roshka is going to be a great and fun dragon to fly, but it will be challenging, but you all know I love a challenge. But this footage is from a friend of mine, Justin, who got the dragon, does not have all the stones yet, so this is lower tier against a base that was set up, but it doesn't really matter what level the towers are because this death gaze spell is so strong, it will definitely be able to take out towers multiple tiers above it. So Justin went and practiced a lot of the things that people didn't think would be possible, uh, which I very much respect. And so some of these clips we'll look at show that you can destroy a blue mage before it disables your cloak, and in that clip you can actually see it doesn't ever disable the blue spell and then you're able to use that death gaze spell multiple times and even defended it destroys the towers before the storm tower goes off so these back blues are definitely not a problem for Rashka, and then you can clear an entire island pretty much with those death gaze spells this even works on island six which is typically a little bit more challenging but he is still able to cloak without the blue mage disabling the spell, and then he's able to use a couple more shots of that death gaze spell to finish off the island. Now with this front blue, you can see he's able to cloak without taking too much damage. He does take one hit, but if you take out the attacking towers with the first shot, you can avoid that. And you can see he's pretty much cleared the whole island with those first three shots. Now for a couple of my favorite clips, watch carefully as he shoots off two rounds of death gaze before the storm tower shields the towers, taking out the threat attack towers and the blue mage and still cloaking, and then finishing off that storm tower. And in this one, the same thing with a slightly different arrangement. This significantly weakens the base and allows you to survive after coming out of the cloak. So slowing it down, his first shot, the towers haven't even noticed him yet. The second shot, the towers still have not noticed him, which allows them to be destroyed before the storm tower fully activates. And then he's able to cloak, you see the blue spells available before the super shots hit him, and after that, he's able to use another one of the Death Gaze spell to take out another tower. And in this clip, he's able to clear an entire island with that Death Gaze spell while cloaked, with the front blue cloaking before taking any damage and then hitting the double shot at the back. And he even has a little cloak duration left and the Death Gaze spell is available again. So here you can see the towers have not recognized him. He takes out two and then the Dark Flag he takes out as well. And then he's able to cloak before the back towers hit him and then after that he has the full cloak duration and he's got another death gaze spell that he can hit the two back towers with and you can see that he still has a lot of rage and still has about half the cloak duration left so he could even use another one of those death gaze spells on the perch if needed without canceling the cloak like he did with the ammo. So this allows for some huge potential for this dragon, even with a front blue and defended with an ice flak there, as long as you prioritize the right towers. Again, taking out that double shot on this island and then having enough rage and time and cloak to use another one of the white death gaze spell before finishing the island. And this is another clip to show uh, different situation and finishing off the island after coming out of cloak, which will be possible as long as you don't leave the most threatening tower still alive. But as you can see, he does have enough rage to use that death gaze spell again if needed on that tower, and you can use the adaptive resist to cycle for more rage even while you're in the cloak which you can see from this clip here, you can see him using adaptive resist while cloaked, and we reviewed this clip a little earlier in the video. So I definitely think Roshka has a lot of potential to be a very strong dragon against defended bases, even with front blue mages and ice flax, which people were very concerned about. When I get some more clips of people flying against uh, max bases or bases that are at their tier and finishing off the whole base or doing long little islands, I'll definitely share that. I think Roshka will struggle more with a long island, but if you manage him correctly and take out the right towers, 
and you're able to get off at least four of those death gaze spells during the cloak, he should be able to manage a long island with a little bit of practice. The other thing to keep in mind is if you put rage runes on this dragon, that will significantly increase the number of those death gaze spells that you can use even while you're cloaked. And if you equip a spell that either can cloak you or a uh, invincibility shield or even equipping death gaze so that you can get off some more of those uh, damage dealing spells to help clear the islands then this dragon i think will be very usable but again it will be a very challenging dragon to fly well so thanks again to justin for this clips and if you have some videos you'd like to share i'd love to see them so i can share them on the channel as well thanks for watching and see you in the next video